Swatch, The Girl Who Loved Color by Julia Denos, published by HarperCollins Children's Books. In a place where colors ran wild, there lived a girl who was wilder still. Her name was Swatch, and she was a color tamer. She was small, but she was not afraid. She could run with the wildest shades, train them to dance, and do magic. Bravest green shot up the first week of March. In between gray lived on her kitten's leg. Rumble tumble pink rolled through the sky on the heels of outgoing thunderstorms. When she called them by name, they would come to her because Swatch loved color and color loved Swatch back. Swatch had never thought of capturing a color until the day she lured Just Laid Blue straight from its nest and into a jam jar. Stay, Swatch said, and the color stayed. How beautiful it looked behind glass. You could use a friend, she said to Blue. So she caught one more, then another, and another. Soon Swatch's room was full to bursting. The colors circled, restless in their jars. They were magnificent, but there was still one color left to catch. Morning came, and there it was, fast fading and fierce, the king of all yellows, blooming in the sidewalk crack in spite of the shadows. Swatch was ready. At last, yellow as yellow would be hers. Suddenly, she heard a small sound. Ahem, <clears throat> said yellow as yellow. What are you doing? Swatch had never asked if a color wanted taming. Yellow as yellow, she asked politely. Would you like to climb into this jar? You could sit on a shelf right next to blue. You could make green together all day long if you wanted. I'll poke holes in the top and feed you dinner. But Yellow, knowing that that was no way to live, said, No, thank you. And Swatch, who could have scooped it up anyway, said, Okay. Given that small but kindly allowance, it grew and yawned and stretched and twirled. It bloomed and whirled and leaked and swirled, spreading, billowing, twisting up, up, up. It sprouted ears and pointy teeth. It was as big as a house. Roar! Went yellow as yellow. Swatch felt small. Her jar seemed silly. She had forgotten colors were wild. So she shut her eyes and prepared to be eaten. Then Swatch heard something, sweet and warbling, like a fleet of canaries. She smelled something warm and buttery like breakfast. And then something swished against her knee, purring and soft, just like home. So she opened her eyes. She reached out her hand, and stretching from her tiptoes, she found she could indeed touch Yellow. Hold on, Yellow said, and it pulled her up. Up, up. High above the rooftops, she called her colors by name, and they came to her. Together, they made a masterpiece. Hi friends, you have just listened to the story Swatch about a little girl who loves colors. Today, we're going to teach you a little bit about the color wheel and how to identify warm and cool colors. This side of the color wheel are the warm colors. It starts with yellow, goes to yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red, and red, violet. And then it transitions into the cool colors. These colors make me feel warm and cozy. If I'm painting and I wanna paint a, a, a picture of a sunset, I might use these warm colors. But also, some people say that when they're angry, they feel like they're seeing red. Have you ever heard somebody say that? So these are really interesting ways to think about color. How do they make you feel? And how does an artist use color to show the feelings of the painting? For today's art lesson, you will need 
your sketch pad, crayons, and a pencil. Let's get started. Okay, so your sketch pad is open and it is in the horizontal position. Um, your spiral is over to your left or your right, whichever one you prefer. We are going to start by just taking the, this first piece of paper here and we're going to fold it in half by having it touch the spiral, line up your top and the bottom, smooth it out so you will be able to see a crease in your paper. You might not be able to see it on mine, um, but you will see it on yours. So the next step is you are going to trace your hands. My hands are probably larger than yours, that's okay. Um, but start from one end, tracing each finger. And then do the same with the other hand. Okay, I did go over my hand with a black marker so it will show up a little bit better. You don't have to do this step. Um, I just did it for the purpose of you being able to see a little easier. All right, next we go ahead and just take your crayons out and maybe you want to um, organize them in warm and cool colors. Maybe um, I'm going to do warm on this side and I'm going to do cool on this side. So I'm going to organize my crayons in this way. Okay, uh, my crayons are organized. You can see that there's a lot more um, uh, cool colors than there are warm colors, and that's okay. So just grab one um, that you like, and what we're going to do is we are going to go around our whole hand by making these little lines. We're going to start on our hand and just have these lines go out from your hand and you can do them at a random pattern.
once you have completed adding your warm colors to uh, this side of your paper and you're satisfied, then move on to the cool side of your paper. You're going to use the same strategies of choosing your colors and starting um, at your hand and going out, or you can start um, from the edge of your paper and go towards your hand. Either strategy is going to work. The idea is to just fill your paper with color. Here we go. So I hope you are able to take some time and to play around with colors and really thinking about, I guess, ask yourself, how do you feel when you look at the warm side? What are your feelings? What does it make you think? How do you feel when you look at the cool side? What does it make you think about? I know when I look at the cool side, I feel um, more cozy and um, maybe like I want a cup of hot chocolate. Um, and then when I look at the warm side, it makes me think about summer and re being really warm. So take a minute just to look at your picture and think about how these colors make you feel.